Number one restaurant people from outside Japan like to go. Nabezo. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we are going to introduce you Nabezo. Nabezo originated in Japan, and Momo Paradise are globally famous with over 70 stores in 10 different countries. Today, we are headed to the store which became number one. Then, let's get moving! We arrived at Shibuya Station on the train. Now headed to Hachiko Gate, one of the busiest gates in Shibuya Station. The place is crowded and busy with people. This is the famous Shibuya Crossing. We'll walk through the downtown Shibuya, very popular amongst young people. Nabezo, which we'll be introducing, is located about 10 minutes walking distance. Here we are. The restaurant is on the 6th floor in this building. The place is very close to the center of Shibuya, making it an ideal place to come after shopping. Let's head to 6th floor. And here we are. This is the downtown store of Nabezo. This restaurant was ranked top in 2020, voted by travelers outside Japan. No surprise for globally known Nabezo. Let's be seated. Restaurant is roomy and very clean. Let's pick this sofa table. And let's start our order. There's various all-you-can-eat menus, but we've chosen the standard Nabezo course. Four types of beef and pork are available as much as you want. You can choose from four base broth soup, but we'll try two different kinds for additional cost. We chose Shabu Shabu and Sukiyaki. This combination is classic. All-you-can-eat course come with all-you-can-drink menus. Let's go and get ingredients. Vegetable and rice are prepared in the buffet style in this restaurant. There's so many vegetables to choose from. There are lettuce and tomatoes, so you can enjoy them as salad, other than putting inside the hot pot. I made it into a salad with sesame soy sauce-based dressings. The restaurant introduces agricultural producers. You'd feel safe knowing who produced what you are eating. Let's prepare vegetable for hot pot on a plate. Let's include tofu. This section has different toppings. Preparation for shabu shabu is complete. There's so many meat and vegetable to choose from even in the basic course. Let's arrange hot pot with rice and noodles later. Before we try meat, let's prepare ponzu made from soy sauce and vinegar along with sesame sauce on plate. Preparation is done. There's four different kinds of meat, but let's first try beef loin. We cook it inside shabu shabu soup. 10 minutes of the cooking time and it's done. Let's eat it with ponzu. The fat from the meat melts inside the mouth. It's refreshing to eat with ponzu. I could eat more. I'll try beef loin with sesame sauce. Creamy sesame sauce go really well with the meat. There's hint of sweetness and flavor has depth. Highly recommended to those who like to eat food with strong taste. Let's prepare vegetable. There are 18 different vegetable and it changed with season. Vegetable goes really well with ponzu sauce. 
You can really eat a lot of vegetable with shabu shabu. It's so healthy. Next, I'll cook pork loin with shabu shabu soup. While it's cooking, I'll add momiji oroshi, grated radish with chili, typically eaten with hot pot. Let's eat it together with the pork. Spicy kick from momiji oroshi is a great combination. It's so fun to be able to eat with different kind of meat. I'll prepare beef rib in sukiyaki soup. Sweet smell of the soup is amazing. While it's cooking, let's prepare egg, which will be used as sauce. Let's coat the meat with egg. Beef has become so creamy with egg, it melts in your mouth. Sweet soup is absorbed well into beef too. I could go on for more, but we were told recommended way to eat by the restaurant server. We add pepper into the egg dipping sauce for spicy kick. It's almost like eating a steak. Sukiyaki soup has strong flavor, so it's amazing with rice. Let's first coat the meat with egg sauce and place it on the hot rice. I could forever eat rice together with meat. Rice, which absorbed egg and sweet soup, is irresistible. Nabezo offers noodles and dumplings for all you can eat other than rice. Let's prepare dumplings in shabu shabu soup and eat it with the ponzu sauce. The dumpling wrappers are chewy. Juice explodes as you bite the dumpling. This is fried yuba. Yuba is tofu skin, food product made in the process of making tofu. I recommend to eat it with ponzu sauce. Fluffy texture is addictive. Let's prepare noodles. While cooking the noodles, let's make special sauce. I'll add spicy oil along with fried onion flakes in the sesame sauce. Let's coat the noodles with sauce. Now it's done. Spicy kick of the oil go well with sweet sesame sauce. Fried onion flakes set good texture. Let's prepare one more noodles. First, we cook pork rib inside the sukiyaki soup. Then, we add udon noodles. While it's cooking, we crack eggs for the sauce. You coat the noodles and meat with the egg. Noodles absorb sweet soup and it's delicious. It's so filling to eat it with pork. Please give it a try. You might not know this, but ice cream is also included as all you can eat in Nabezo. There are four different flavors, so let's try them all. It's colorful and cute. Salt really stands out, the sweet milky flavor. Green tea had slight bitterness. Refreshing mint is a great addition to chocolate ice cream. Pineapple is sweet but has a refreshing sour tone. All were fantastic. It is so affordable to be able to eat this variety of food all for this price. No wonder it was chosen the top restaurant in Japan. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.